alpha-1 receptors. To learn alpha-1 receptors, we need to go back again and review the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. In the sympathetic nervous system, your body's natural response is to fight or flight. In this case, if you came across a snake, your eyes would get big, your pupil dilates. Your airways will open up, you'll have a decrease in respiratory secretions, your heart rate will beat fast, and there'll be an increased cardiac output. Your GI tract will slow down, and urine is retained because you can't urinate and run at the same time. Let's take a closer look at the sympathetic nervous system and the neurotransmitters that affect this system. Those are epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Receptors, alpha-1 and alpha-2, beta-1 and beta-2. It is essential for you to understand that when you see the term alpha-1 agonist, you need to understand that agonist basically means activation or stimulation of the receptor. So let's take a look at our guy again who came across a snake. By stimulating the alpha-1 receptor, or if you have a drug that acts as a alpha-1 agonist, you will notice that alpha-1 agonists affect the postsynaptic membrane of the end organs and they will give you the classic effects of the fight or flight response. Pupils will dilate or madriasis. There'll be an increase in blood pressure, increase in peripheral resistance, and the closure of the internal, sph internal sphincter of the bladder. This causes urine to retain, so you can run if you come across a snake or fight. Therape therapeutic uses, alpha-1 agonists are systemic vasoconstrictors, so they constrict the arterioles of the nasal mucosa to produce constriction, or basically to stop runny nose. And this is seen in common medications that we use, such as phenylephrine, that is a decongestant, better known as Sudafed, oxymetolazone. Now this is a decongestant nasal spray found over the counter as Afrin, Vic Sinus, or Nasocon. If you want to learn more, subscribe to my channel. I will have each different uh, receptor videos for you to review, specifically alpha, beta, and cholinergic receptors. These are the key receptors to learn so that you can learn the most common medications that are prescribed today. Thanks for watching.